With its unique art style and rugged setting, The Long Dark could be the most beautiful survival game around, with dizzying mountain heights, epic waterfalls, and some trees. So in this top 10, we look at the best locations on the Sandbox map, covering Coastal Highway, The Ravine, Desolation Point, Mystery Lake, Timberwolf Mountain, and Pleasant Valley. We're doing this as the story mode hype train rolls into town, which will add new locations and possibly render this entire video obsolete. Hooray! Number 10, Trapper's Cabin. Back when the game consisted of two areas, this homestead was the place to visit in Mystery Lake. It contains most things you need to survive and thrive, including a bed, a workbench, and sometimes a rifle. And there's no wolves to worry about in the local area. It's even a starter location if you're lucky, but being tucked away in a remote corner of the map, it doesn't make a great base. The easiest way to find it is following the train line to the tunnel collapse, turning right and hugging the mountains. Number 9, the Riken. The Riken is the shipwreck of a fishing boat in Desolation Point, found in the shadow of the lonely lighthouse. This location will be familiar to anyone who's been through the tortuous process of making bows and arrows, because the ship's forge allows you to turn metal into arrowheads. Despite appearing only small, um, the ship has got several decks to explore, with a handy bed and kitchen upstairs for when you're settling in to a really good session with the forge. Also, you can stand on the outside and pretend you're in Titanic, with Leonardo DiCaprio enjoying a face full of salty spray. Wait, what? Number 8, Misanthropes Homestead. I include this one to represent the Long Dark's success at adding lore to the sandbox world with a light touch. Places such as Draft Dodger's Cabin, Max's Last Stand, and Katie's Secluded Corner remind you that people were here once, each with their own individual stories. Especially Katie, the dirty sort. And of course, the corpses are there to remind you that you are now very much alone. Will any of these places tie into the story mode? We'll soon see. Number 7, Point of Disagreement. Another nod to the backstory, the Point of Disagreement in Pleasant Valley is one of my favourite incidental places, and performs the useful service of marking where you turn off the main road and head towards Timberwolf Mountain. Something bad went down here, it's obvious. There's crash cars and corpses for days. But what exactly were they arguing about? Probably Katie, the dirty sort. Number 6, Carter Dam. Carter Dam, situated at one end of the railway line in Mystery Lake, is a forbidding structure with one of the creepiest interiors in the game. But it's strategically useful, it's full of rooms to scavenge, and it allows access to the winding river, which is one route to Pleasant Valley. The whole place reeks of foreboding, and while you're searching for a way out, you might get ambushed by the legendary Fluffy. If you've never met Fluffy, then you should be grateful. Check out my game guide if you're having trouble working out how to traverse Carter Dam and River. There are a few tricky moments. Number 5, The Church. If anything sums up the feeling that you're trapped in a godforsaken world, it's this abandoned, broken up church in Desolation Point. With a quiet beauty all of its own, it's one of the many unique locations in the game that serves no real huge gameplay purpose other than to construct a compelling world that feels real and lived in once. Number 4, Pleasant Valley Farmhouse. If you're exploring Pleasant Valley, you need to know the farmhouse. A shining beacon in a large, dangerously exposed map, it's better equipped than the nearby outbuildings you pass to get here. In fact, it's one of the most important buildings to know in the game. The location makes it a great base for exploring the region, and it's full of supplies, including a rifle if you're lucky. And don't forget to check Mr Plinkett's creepy basement under the house, accessible from the hatch on the outside. Number 3, The Train Crash. The Raven Falls railway line is the link between Mystery Lake and Coastal Highway. And yeah, this is cool. Look at the train, it's all crashy and that. Working out how to cross this gorge and then inching across this nerve-wracking log is another wonderful moment in a game full of such moments. Everywhere you look there's a dangerous drop, but such beauty too. Further on, the train viaduct goes across a gaping valley, but that can feel a bit of a chore to keep crossing, and pales compared to the train crash. Number 2, Forestry Lookout. Everyone knows the Lookout. It's a location in Mystery Lake that's been in the game from its earliest days, and was our first taste of the views the game can provide if you're willing to make the effort to go up in the air a bit. There's a bed here, a possible rifle spawn, first aid, and a fire and a door that I can never bloody find, and have to circle around the bloody lookout about three times before I bloody well see it. The game has come on a lot since we were first introduced to Mystery Lake and its lookout, but the first time I climbed the winding slope to get here, that's remained with me ever since. Duh. 
and number one, Timberwolf Mountain Summit, of course. What a prick this is to get to, what a chafing nugget of prickiness. But once you've climbed at least three ropes and probably died of everything, the view up here is brilliant. Plus, you get to launch the rarely found distress gun. The crash plane is a genuinely exciting thing to find, and it contains supplies for days, so all that suffering is worth it. This place is literally the summit of achievement, and of this top ten, and rightly so. So don't forget to check out my tutorial if you're having trouble getting here, it's quite a challenge, but the views as I say are worth it, and it's almost certainly going to be a crucial part of story mode, so you may as well get your practice in now. So, even in a list of ten, I'm missing out loads of great stuff. All the beautiful waterfalls, Signal Hill, rural crossroads with its beautiful bridge, the list goes on. So leave a comment to let us know your favourite location, and don't forget to subscribe to hear about all our latest videos. Hopefully we'll be playing the Long Dark Story Mode when that finally drops. Ok, thanks for watching, and see you next time. If you survive the cold, that is, moo-ha-ha. -ha. And that.